All right, we're back for episode 70 of the Idiot Circle. I'm Mike. I'm Fred. Bizarre. I'm Tim. Well, guys, what? We've been off for, what, two weeks, three weeks, 18 weeks? Yeah, I don't know. It's been a while, for sure. Uh, Our fans asked for it. Yes, they're clamoring. They're clamoring. Well, actually, it was only a week. It just seems two weeks after that uh, that magnificent uh, uh, weekend that we all had. Uh, no, this it was, it's been two weeks. The last one was uh, Ruth. Right. We had oh, Ruth. that's right. You, you know, you're right. I'm, I apologize. That's right. And we stand had corrected. It must be the shoes. I stand corrected. Man, so, Ruth boys, is- hey, before we uh, we get into the heavy topics and stuff like that, I just wanted to point out that um this saturday or this sunday uh september 24th um there is going to be a fundraiser at warwater brewery um for uh dean osterlin yeah dean, and, yep. and, and if all of you guys know who dean osterlin is um he graduated in 87 from holy cross um i played basketball and football with him at holy cross uh sixth through eighth grade um he married elise lang if you're robbie if you remember elise um, and, 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 yeah, and, and Patricia, her sister, um, they uh, they were friends of Leslie's. Uh, well, Dean and Elise are married, have two kids, uh, uh, Lexi and Josh, I believe it is uh, the boy's name. Well, he's got, um, he was diagnosed with uh, Methesia gravis. Methesia gravis. What's that? It's, a, it's an attack uh, on the muscles and it weakens in um you know he's he's having a real rough time right now so mm-hmm. he's got people running his business for him he can't work um you know mm-hmm. bills are starting bills are starting to pile up so um Diane Hintz is uh she started a fundraiser for her for him uh to, on Sunday to do that uh to do that and it's going to have raffles they're going to have food um and they're going to have 50-50 um all that type of stuff so um uh, it's going to help help with the medical costs and and kind of uh, try to offset that for them. Uh, uh, they I was actually had uh, uh, a couple people I had uh, Angie Beelan, also known as Angie Hours, uh, reach out to me and and Debbie Horbath um, reach out to me and and a couple people from our class from Holy Cross and asked me if I would mention it on the show or, and and do some stuff on Facebook. So I did a couple live. Uh, Facebook things um, talking about it. Hmm. Can we link? Put a link uh, when we upload the show or something of the GoFundMe page, Mike. Uh, yeah, if there is one. Yeah, sounds right. like someone started yeah. GoFundMe. Let me get. Let, let me get some for. Okay, there we go. So, there you um, just to let you know, there is. If you go, if you look underneath, uh, uh, either Diane Hints or uh, Elise Lang Osterlin. Um, you should be able to see the. Um, that gives you the information on on what's involved. It's it's from uh, noon to I believe four. Um, the raffles and the fifty fifty will be uh, starting at three o'clock. Hey, all all we ask you know all I ask of anybody can go is give a half an hour, give fifty mm-hmm. minutes, half an hour. You know it's twenty bucks a person. If you're if you got kids under ten, it's ten bucks. You get you get pizza. You get two drinks. Two adult Good. beverages if you're 21. You get pop and water available to you. Um, you know, and there's, you know, obviously there's. I'm sure there'll probably be some music in the, uh, in on the plat at the plaza too, just to kind of offset everything. But uh, you know, Dean is a very hard worker. He oh, owns yeah. his own owns his own company. He, he's respected by the community and his customers. You know, I just want to make sure that if anybody can uh, come in and help, um, in any way. Um, it would be greatly appreciated. Great dude, great dude. Yep. So, so, bad. so now on the after that somber news, let's get to the the best news. Uh, let's talk about Midnight Mel. Mel, <laughs> damn it, you won, Mike. I won. Damn. Why? We were uh, saying which topic you'd want to lead with, and I was right. Mel Tucker. Oh, what did you, what did you guys think I was going to lead with the wedding stuff? Yeah, that, that was that. Rob was wedding. I was Mel Tucker. So. Right, we, we'll talk about that next. But uh, <laughs> uh, we well, we've been we've been waiting to talk about this. Hey, uh, you know, if Michigan State uh, fell under a lucky star and all every, all the moons aligned, uh, 
Um, this was a perfect opportunity because that dumbass, you know, basically screwed himself. No, uh, pun, inten <clears throat> no pun intended. <clears throat> there's more to there's more to the story though. I, well, I'm, uh, sure, I'm sure there is because you know what there's wait you have some inside news Mike no I'm just been reading a bunch of different angles I mean read his statement he's even saying like some of the shit they did was even against their policy the MSU's policy oh I, I believe listen for, I, I wouldn't be put it past them that they paid this chick two million to say this to get themselves out of 80 million i was yeah. saying the same thing to tammy up. i was like well i mean they owe 80 million if they float 2 million at her they save 78 million <laughs> yeah I mean, you're not that smart at michigan State. that's true no. that's true well, yeah, yeah, that's way not, too that's too yeah, much bigger that's yeah. fuzzy math for them yeah, yeah. so think out. about this guys i mean there, there's what she's saying and what he's saying somewhere in here is the truth but but you know the, the simple fact is 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 well, he admitted. I, let's. Oh, sure. Of course, he, he's not going to lie about it. But the but the thing is, he's also he's also going to say, well, you know, what if I what if I just came off a national championship or a Big Ten championship? Are you going to fire me then? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, they would. No. Let me ask you. Let me ask no, you. No, What's going so, on? So he acknowledges the fact that I suck as a coach is the reason why they're trying to get rid of. <laughs> that's me. Well, that's his defense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and that's the thing I'm 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 trying to say is the fact that, you know, he was Whoa. first of all before he even came to Michigan State, his best record was six and nine, or six, yeah, what really. was it, five five excuse me five and nine at Colorado. He comes there, he, he you know he brings everybody out of the transfer portal. He gets lucky with Kenny Walker. They go eleven and one, um, you know, and then the that's next bad. year next year was the COVID year, and everybody kind of said, all right, let's just that's a wash. And then the last two years, or last year, and then this year, I mean, I mean, it's just a, it's a shit show there, you know. And and the thing is, is you know that that is a top fifteen um, university in the country. I mean, with the programs, the the campus is beautiful, all that stuff, and yeah. they've got nothing but a black guy from the Nasser thing to the shooting. Now this stupid ass who. Just yep. saw what happened with those two things. And then he thinks, oh, I want to get away with that. I'm making $80 million. Again, you give you give people, someone like him, you give him an inch, he takes two inches. If you give him a mile, he wants two. Give him a yep. rope, the fucker thinks he's a cowboy. It's just that simple. Well, I don't think it's so simple, to be honest. I think, uh, you know, what he did was, you know, by university standards and the, the bad publicity or the exposure is bad, but come on, these are uh, consenting adults. You're telling me a woman that's uh, on the phone having phone sex. I mean, if he started some shit, all you got to do is hang the phone up. Seriously. Exactly. That's, what, that's exactly what I said the other day. So, <laughs> I mean... I, I understand. I, I'm not trying to minimize, you know, no. what what he did, but it, it wasn't a rape situation. It wasn't an assault situation. It was, in his words, uh, phone sex, basically, between two consenting. It wasn't even in-person sex. My understanding is phone sex, right? They're talking yeah, over the exactly, phone, yeah. and he's mm -hmm. rubbing one out while he's on the phone. Who knows what? We don't know what she was doing. Maybe she was doing the same thing. Not sure. But come on, the, this is a phone call. If like she was that stuff. offended, I'd like to see those records. Yeah. If oh, yeah. well, apparently, it, it. I heard that they were recorded or something. The phone calls are recorded. Is that? Did anybody hear that? Or I, I thought I read that. that. Okay. All I know, he was doing the five finger knuckle shuffle, and she was playing. Maybe was playing Helen Hel Helen Keller and reading some lips. <laughs> <laughs> like a, well, like in the bean as so to speak the hard um, part about it is hey, let me ask you this this poor lady this no not poor lady she's she's gonna be a rich lady, lady it sounds like well, she, she'll have to be right because what she made her business on was being ethical about not you know doing stuff like this and here she's been caught or she's come out and said i yes i did i practice uh phone sex or was involved with some phone sex with yeah them. so she well, i mean she's a consultant that goes and talks to team. university students teams yeah. about sexual yeah. assault and and she's uh, a victim she's a survivor herself but she is right so it, it is kind of 
kind of odd. I mean, it, I mean, it's, is it a, it's a little bit of a black mark on her, right? Like it's no it's, pun intended. Oh, I didn't mean it that way, but okay. I mean, what, it, what's her name again? What's her full name? What's something Tracy, right? I, I don't remember her name, but please welcome to the stage star. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he never admitted to it, then if he never admitted to it, then he, he would just say his, his <coughs> against hers. You know what I'm saying? Well, but I know he admitted to it. The, the, I think he was that, right to admit to it. Just come out and say yeah. it. You know, like I said from you know years ago when Tiger Woods was going through his shit, he should have just came out and said, you know what? I'm Tiger Woods. I'm arguably in the top three most famous athletes in the world. Yeah. Yes, I, I sleep get, with I, other other women. Yep, and I, I have get affairs more on my wife. Seat. Right. Any questions? It would have been over. It, the yep, whole thing would have yeah. been over. But no, he had to lie about it. So I no, mean, he did trying come to, out. He's trying to protect his his endorsements. Right. Yeah. Honestly, he makes more money in endorsements than he does playing golf. So. Right. Makes a lot <clears throat> but the problem the problem is is this is is okay. Mel he could have done that with anybody, but he picked a woman who was a rape survivor, and and also goes around going around the country that the universities hire to come in and talk to the kids about criminal sexual conduct. Yeah. And you pick well, her, really? That's, not, that's the first that's time a, I've ever done it, but you know. By all accounts, no, they had a but, bunch of phone calls, I'm, right? There's I'm apparently the first time yeah. offended. Oh my gosh, Mel, this is no. terrible. No, nope. oh, hey, if you if you go on, I went online and there was an article about what was going on, and if you saw how many friggin' people from Colorado came out, and they were all calling him Midnight Mel. So he, you know, damn well he was doing some stuff out, oh, out yeah. in, in the Mile Highs. My high state, okay. He might have, you know, he might, might honestly be part of the mile high club, crazy. You know, so <laughs> let alone, let alone, I mean, you know, he, you know, she's like, Well, he was talking, and then I, and he made, and his voice changed, and I said, What's wrong? And he goes, And he told me what he was doing, and I said, You can't do that, okay. That's, then hang up. That's how it went. Well, he froze up again. Brenda then, Tracy is her name. Then she's hang up. Bad, she's not a bad looking girl. How about this? Hang up. Yeah, hang I don't. That's I don't because they've had they had multiple phone calls. Apparently, there's like a. Oh, she according was willing. To, she was willing in this. Yeah, so I don't. I, think, I don't. I think she got paid, boys. I'm I'm saying she got paid. Well, I think it, the the issue is that it it's it's bad. It looks bad for the university, and that's why they're firing him, right? And they're very sensitive over the Larry Nance. Okay. Pass, yeah. They? So right well, now, he, he's like he's like how Mike Tyson, Mike Mike Tyson, kind of got the raw deal after OJ Simpson. He you know he put himself in a position where this now the they're gonna they're gonna have a zero tolerance, and then this comes on, and and you get fired, and they go, oh hey, if we fire him, we can save save seventy eight million dollars. Ooh. Now we can go yep. out and try to find somebody else. Now you got all these friggin' Michigan State, you know. Now they can go pay you know. eighty million dollars to Brady Hoke. But just yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, this, all the Sam Club Spartans that are on the uh, on the rail. Come on, can we just give Urban Meyer? I said, why? So he can have uh, he can have uh, field girls up at at, uh, at one yep. of the you know at Crunchies at uh, in East Lansing. Come on. Well, yep. first of all, uh, I don't think Michigan State gets out of paying seven, eight million dollars. Oh, no, they're, they're, they'll have a settlement. They're going to go. They're going to get some. There's going to be a split somewhere between them. about twenty. For sure. And who who would want to come in? Honestly, who would want to come in and coach Michigan State football at this point? Well, that the Fred, worst part. The worst. You? Well, get, pay me, and I, I will, and I'll just you know I'll just do what I got to do. But the problem is, is you don't have to not only have to worry about finding a coach, but you got to worry about all, all the attrition. I mean, there's going to be so many kids that are going to leave this friggin' program. They gone. Yeah, uh, they gone. Well, half of, the they, team they're was they're not loaded with that much talent anyway. I don't know. Half the team well, is transfers anyway. You think they're not going to well, transfer right so, back out? So, and needless to say, they're going to be a football program that is going to be probably non-existent for three to five years. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and with the, with the new way, the, the way, the, the way the conference, the way the conference is going to be with in, in USC, the past, US, UCLA in, in and the Washington, past, and all Fred. these people coming in, Fred, you know in they the, don't have a chance. In, Fred in the past. Yes. Three to five years. 
it's a different day in college football with the transfer portal and then all but it depends on who they bring in and how many people leave and how many can they really bring in that's going to be any, worth it I mean, you're not, there's no other Deion sanders out there that can bring 60 40 to 60 people in that actually are you know are good athletes i mean i'm just saying that you who's going to right now who's a good quarterback right now that's just going to jump in the portal to come to play at michigan state Nobody. Yeah. It'll be interesting yeah. to see who they. I, I guess it all depends Emmanuel? on who they have as a coach, right? Yeah, is it Emmanuel from uh, Central Michigan? <laughs> I mean, let's say I know this will never happen, but let's Above say from Eastern Michigan. Let's say it was Urban Meyer. You right. don't think yeah. people are gonna go play for Urban Meyer? Hundred percent, oh, they would. Well, yeah, because he's gonna cheat his fucking ass off to bring people in, and, and they're just gonna. You come don't have flocking. to cheat anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. You don't have to cheat. Well, you can pay yeah. him now. Well, I understand. <laughs> I mean, Dion get 85, 85, I heard it was, 85 players come in. The yeah, there was only like nine nine people that were left over or Plus, something from the other he got, rid, he got rid of the majority and got 85 players in. Look what he's done. Now, that's yeah. amazing. Look, well, watch he, what happens this Saturday. <laughs> it's spank down <laughs> for see, they, Colorado. They, yeah. they, let's see. You know, whatever. Yeah, I think it's, there's going to be a lot of humble pie to eat with. Oh, um, yeah, you know yeah. it. Yeah, now he's the saying, answer, the uh, answer, I'm, a, I'm still two and one. God damn, you know, who's the, he, who's the best team. coach in college football? Well, give me a mirror so I can look at him. He says, What a All cocky right. motherfucker! Hey, he is. hey, real quick, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jot it down. Okay, you tell me the score of Buffalo and what is it? Who are they playing? Oregon? Oregon, okay. Uh, Mike, what's your score? Uh, 52 21. Oh. Oregon. Okay, uh, Rabo. Well, I know they don't like to play defense out there in the in the West. That's right. And they're both going to probably put. They both have offensive playmakers. So I'm going to say sixty three fifty four. Holy shit! It's like a basketball score. Red out. Right it's like here. Oklahoma playing uh, Oklahoma State three years ago, seventy-two to sixty-eight or whatever it was. Red eye, uh, fifty-eight seventeen. Wow! Do you, think, really? do you think that Oregon's defense is going to stop the co- the Colorado Buffalo? They don't have a big player. Well, I'm just telling well, you. Know, they have all to... kinds of. They have they have the number one player still they there. Colorado Travis, have... Travis Hunter is the number one player, not not Sanders' son. Well, yeah. I don't know. He's the one that's making all the sure. shit happen. He touches yeah, the but... ball every time. Yeah, yeah. he does. And he, th- but he's and he throws it to Travis to Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> he plays, both, plays on both sides of the ball. Yeah, I know. But I, oh, listen, I know they're going to score more than 17. I'm going to say 40. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to jump ship here. I'm going to say Colorado's going to win. How about that? You're not jumping ship. You've already told us you're. you're like, <laughs> <laughs> but the only thing that scares me is that uh, their best player is not going to play because he's yeah. got a lacerated liver. So I, I just want to make sure you know. Are, are you doing that on your computer? I mean, your uh, your uh, your uh, fancy calculator, uh, your jitterbug phone, <laughs> the jitterbug. Phone. The jitterbug. <laughs> oh, you guys, you guys, real funny. Oh yeah, you so funny. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. oh wait, I got to tell you. Funniest statement when you left the wedding, Mike says to me, he walks over and says to me, is he a spinning image of Brian Dennehy? (laughs) (laughs) Who's that? (laughs) Who's that? Tommy Boy is dead. (laughs) Talking to you, Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy. (laughs) I'm going to say 36-45 Colorado. No, that's, that's 40. Score. That's 45, 36. 36 you, it, what are you, a woman? No, but you <laughs> guys said you said all your uh, Oregon scores first. So I, I just put 36 Oregon, 45 Colorado. That's all. Okay. I Oregon, you know, I don't even know if Oregon's the best team in the, in the, pack. Mm. Oh, pack you, mean, you mean the, you mean the pack two? Pack two. Pack two. <laughs> of course two they're pack, not. They're not the, better they than the, Oregon. Pack, yeah. Welcome they're to not the better than Washington. They're not better than Washington. I don't think they're better than USC either. Right. No. They're not better than Oregon, well, Washington, or USC. Well, no, no, I, no. I said I think Oregon. Mike. I think, or, oh, I think Oregon. Oregon, Oregon. Yeah. 
I think I, I, USC and Washington is better than yeah, Oregon. I, I, I think that's. I think Oregon. I think Oregon and about. USC are about the same because they, neither one of them played defense, and I think offensively they're 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 comparable. The only thing that USC has is Caleb Williams. I mean, and they got Bo Nix, but Bo Nix. I'll take, huh? I, I'll take Caleb Williams over Bo Nix. But isn't Bo Nix starting? Yeah. Yes, he is. Quarterback. Too. Yes. A good one, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> Joey Harrington is. Tim. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. Achilles, Achilles Fuck Smith guard. is starting. You know they're Fuck doing off. the uh, the. You remember when they did the Harrington? They had like the big billboards for Joey Harrington for Heisman. They're doing the same thing with Bo Nix. He's, yeah. he's everywhere, like Times Square on one of the buildings. There's this huge mm. ass. Is like this two, the same two hundred foot thing? Bo Nix. Bo Nix. Was at Auburn at one time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He was the starting yeah. quarterback. Yeah. For he, yeah, he was there when Cam Newton was. Uh, Starting, he was a freshman. <laughs> was he running with the Was he running no. with the crab legs? No, that's not. That's Jameis. That's Winston, Jameis Winston, you Winston. dumbass. Yeah. Speaking of old quarterbacks, uh, Stetson Bennett is not on the the Rams team for yeah, some he is, reason. But he's he is on the team, but he uh, no, um, they put on him team. on they they put him on the NFL protocol um, health list. I think he's having some mental issues because he has Alzheimer's. Yeah, that's possible. <laughs> so he, uh, maybe I heard he uh, maybe he broke his hip. Yeah. I heard he quit to spend more time with his grandchildren. Yeah, that's it. Well, they they it, thought there was definitely something wrong when they came over to his house and he had plastic over his furniture and he offered everybody five dollars. <laughs> have a seat on the Davenport. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he went into his dorm room and he had little worthers there for you to open up. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? He was going to go finish his degree. <laughs> <laughs> Online. Yeah it's, pretty, yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad when he walks out of the locker room and he's got an Argyle sweater on and a pipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, since we're done yeah, with Bell Tugger. Sweat. Are we? Uh, talk about, are we done with Tugger? What about yeah. the, the Fred? Let's talk about our, that great weekend. Uh, it, first of all, I just want to thank uh, all three of you for being there. It was kind of, it was awesome. I know that we had our picture taken, which uh, uh, whoever took it had has not shared it yet. So, um, if you got it, you know, I think Jamie took the picture. If I'm not mistaken, I, got, I, I think uh, Rob gave me a smooch on the cheek. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, as as all of you know, or most of you know, um, my daughter got married last weekend and. Um, you know, and it was a very, very special, uh, yes, three was. days from the, from the rehearsal dinner to the actual wedding, even to the, uh, the barbecue on Sunday before they left for their honeymoon. But, uh, I just wanted to thank everybody who, who watches a show that might, who might've been there because shit half of St. Clair County was there. Um, it, it, thank you for coming out for their special day. So, um, Eric and, uh, Taylor are in St. Lucia right now. Uh, they're, yeah, so they're they're having a great time and uh but yeah that wedding guys i'll tell you uh that was a party there's no question about it unfortunately none of you could make it out to the field house that that was hilarious but and and of course the, of course the best part was the the kepper of the how the weekend was was the facebook post <laughs> <laughs> yeah well it was great that was so so, so let's start with you tim uh Tell me what. Uh, tell me about your experience at the wedding. What I mean, what what did you like about it the most, or what what was the oh, thing that you remember? The church, if you can, a, if you can remember, <laughs> the church. The church was awesome. It was loaded. It was a great ceremony. Uh, you know, well decorated. Great time. Everybody looked great. Um, you guys uh, looked awesome coming down. You weren't nervous or nothing, so that was great. You give your daughter away. So, mm. I mean, you're you're the first of. Uh, I don't, no, Eduardo, you got a kid, kid. You got kids married. I don't know. Did you get one? So you yeah. you've given your daughter away, right? So yeah, that was yeah. that was gonna two? be two here pretty quick. Yeah, two pretty quick. So I yeah. mean, uh, that's got to be pretty difficult. So I mean, you did great, Fred. It was awesome. And uh, you know, we met up with uh, met up with the boys at the Moose when you guys were doing all the, the all the get together and everything, and we had a blast. We we had a few buckets. It was good. <laughs> it was good. Nice. First time, I ever, first time I ever went in the Moose in uh, Port Huron there. So that was good. That's that's and, to me. It's probably probably uh, 
my second favorite moose and uh, next to the Anna Maria Island one. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, then we went in. I, I tell you what, when I walked into that Alexander's, holy smokes, there were people everywhere. Wow. It was a, it was a good time. I enjoyed myself. I, I appreciate getting the invitation and Jamie and I had an absolute blast. Awesome. How about you, Mikey? Well, of course, hanging out with you knuckleheads drinking, that was my favorite part. I mean, well, Kevin Mann, he comes up to me, he goes, Oh my God. He goes, Did you see Mike Ward at the wedding last night? No, he goes, I have not seen him drink that much beer in the last. He was just <laughs> pounding the, the bats blue lights down like it was going out of style. I'm like, Really? And I said, I thought he was drinking mixed drinks. He goes, Well, oh. he was, but he, but he was pounding the beers beforehand. We yeah. did a little, we did a little count before. I want to hear it, Wardo. Count it out. What was well, it? I'm well. We had three buckets at the moose, so that was eighteen. So I must. I'm guessing we each had six. It's, we were yep. all one for one, I think. And then I think at, you know, I, I don't know how many beers exactly I had at at the wedding. I think probably six or eight, most likely eight. Okay, and then I probably had six or eight Jim Beam and Cokes, maybe even more. I don't know. Those things were going down like fucking water bro like Woo. it was i mean they were yeah, strong they didn't chintz on, yeah they didn't chintz on the alcohol oh, they either. did not they, were, they were strong but uh i was on a roll you know sometimes i get on a roll and i'm uh you know i'm like you know fred gets at like eight o'clock i'm at fred's eight o'clock level sometimes <laughs> i probably did about 20 i'm guessing 20 to 22 drinks total guessing it could have been more i don't know did but you, i was feeling did, good did you fall asleep on the way home with the wife driving no no we uh stopped at taco bell and got a couple of tacos. <laughs> <laughs> tammy got a mexican pizza i had some tacos all wow. down the front of my fucking shirt because it's <laughs> you can't eat tacos in the car no so yeah all down the my shirt all over her car. I didn't give a fuck. It was good. Good times. <laughs> so Roberto. Roberto. Well, I thought the speeches were awesome. Everybody did a great job with this. Yes. I thought it was good. The ceremony was beautiful. I that's probably the best ceremony I've seen in a church for a wedding. It was done really well. Just awesome. But I had two great experiences outside of the wedding. One being the night before we did the Marine City Fish Company. It was a great time. I think it was eight of us together. Oh, it was a fun time. Man, I got to mention that. That was an absolute blast. And the shout out to the 158 Port Huron Moose for mm -hmm. entertaining us between the wedding and the reception. They uh, they provide a great service. I got to see lovely Nikki again. I hadn't seen her in a while. So mm -hmm. lovely Nikki was waiting on yes. us portion of the time and uh yeah it was, mm -hmm. a good time. it was a good time seeing all of you guys being back home the yeah. weather was perfect yeah not, not to mention you brought that wonderful beautiful woman with you yeah yes it was, it was definitely a pleasure meeting jackie um, yes i will tell lot. you that uh, kevin um kendra lauren nancy billy and john and and uh a couple other people said that they thought she was just lovely so, oh. and, you know, for me, I'll tell you, uh, it, it was an honor doing a speech for my daughter. It was very hard to get through, but I got through it pretty you did decently. Off. You did um, off. Uh, you know, the, the wedding, you know, she gave me a, a handkerchief, you know, for, for my gift. And it was funny because I showed it to you guys. And that, awesome. one that says, you know, keep, uh, get, keep your shit together for dad, uh, Taylor, nine sixteen twenty three. thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, typically when you go to a wedding, you, you find something that, you know, it could have been just a little bit better. And that wedding, I can't, I, the food was awesome. The entertainment before, during, and, and afterwards was outstanding. Kenny Rose was un unbelievable on the piano. Um, your generation, a phenomenal band. Play. I mean, had everybody up in, in, on the dance floor, there was that dance floor is the only time it was empty was when we did the speeches, as far as I was concerned. Um, I, I think the people that put the put it on, I thought the workers there did a fantastic job. 
And it, you know, and it's the one time where I could walk right up um, to the front, being the father of the bride, and say, "Yeah, I'll take two. Uh, I'll take two Labatt's lights. Oh, yeah, I'll take two of these. I'll take two." Of these. So, um, don't forget, don't forget that about was and uh, what's that? Paul did a great job too. Oh, Paul, no, oh, yeah. Paul, 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 I mean, Paul is just dude, out the, 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 Oh yeah, he's phenomenal. So I mean, it, it's again the reasons why these musicians in our area are so sought after, and. You know, and and I got to give a shout out to Neil and Wayne uh, Picklehop too, who own the Field House, for allowing us to come over there and staying open. They usually close at eleven thirty, um, um, or excuse me, midnight. They stayed open till probably two o'clock, and they made probably a shitload of extra money because that because the people were there. I mean, that place was wall to wall. So, um, who all was went great... over, Fred? Who who are some of the names that went over? So... Oh, geez. All the, all the all the all the fraternity brothers, Nancy sorority sisters, um, you know, uh, uh, Mons. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Nancy, Billy, any uh, of No. Nope. Uh, uh, yeah, Nancy and Linda came over. Uh, Billy and John left because um, they had to take Aunt Dolores home or back to the hotel. <clears throat> um uh the Sodens, um Ben and Renee Lasher, um, you know, and mostly, you know, and then a lot of the kids that they went to school with and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, and obviously the, the bridesmaids and the groomsmen. And we know how that worked out with the <laughs> with one one of the fraternity brothers uh, yeah. in the parking lot that, you know, in the middle of the night or you know, almost morning time. But um, but uh you know, it was great. And then the next day we had the barbecue over at Nancy's house and they had br bad brads, um, brisket and, and jalapeno cornbread and mm. potato salad. I mean, it was phenomenal. And they opened up their gifts and they left about, uh, about one o'clock and everybody just, that. um, that's all. Every, everybody, everybody dispersed and I went home and slid over to Kevin's and watched, uh, that debacle of a football game. Yeah. on sunday so but hey i'll tell you um it, it was a good time it was great seeing everybody that's for sure it was it was a good time nice to see everybody you know we got to see christer christer was there oh yeah we got to see your cousins right uh, oh yeah oh yeah the girls were there um it was fun it's fun just to say hey you know everybody was so so you know be having nice having two two bars going it oh was, yeah, uh, it was. Trust me, I took full advantage of both of those bars. <laughs> we had no doubt, Fred. Yes, sir. It was going to be no doubt. Uh, Jeff Green is uh, obviously enjoying uh, retirement. He's getting a little plump there, Fred. I really wouldn't say that. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say anything about my brother-in-law like that. If I, you know, he. Uh, he is, he's not just sitting at home. He's actually working at, uh, he's actually the police officer at Marysville High School. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but, but Rob, uh, you're the only thin one in, in the whole group. So, yeah. 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 God knows what he says about our, our fat ass. Yeah. I know yeah. you guys are fat yeah. asses. I know <laughs> that. <laughs> Jeff well, was he, a pretty spelt looking guy at one time, but he looks like he's, he's yeah, well, well, he's he feeding him too well. <laughs> Well, he can do what the hell he wants. How about that? He's how about how about that? Yeah. How about how that? About, how about the fact that he has a stun gun and and he can he can take care of you and and. Uh, uh, I live in I have six states away. I'm okay right now. Uh, really? Yeah, sure. Right now. See you in November. Authorities, you're gonna say fat. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna zap you. He <laughs> he probably will zap yeah. me. Oh, he will. Um, <laughs> say, who are you calling fat ass motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it was a great time, and it and it was good seeing my aunt Pat. I wish my dad and Sue could have been there, yeah, <laughs> and Uncle Bill. And yeah, I would have loved to have seen Uncle Bill. Like that, yeah, though. and you know, and obviously it was it was kind of a nice little tribute that they had for uh, um, my mom and, and yeah. Nancy's Nancy's mom and 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 Nancy's grandma. So I thought that was pretty cool too. Hey, did you guys get to sign the, uh, the cornhole boards over uh, over? Yeah, no. I didn't know any. I didn't know anything about it either. I'm like, God dang it! I was showing. I didn't even. I didn't even know it. But, but man, a lot of pictures were taken. I, I was kind of hoping some people would put them on because I thought, uh, you know, I could scoop some up and then you know share them to Taylor and 
And Aaron well, we've been doing the tag that they said to use for the wedding. Ernie, who was the lady that uh, sung up front at the church? I'm sorry? Who was the lady that sung up front at the church? Um, I, I don't know her name. Um, great voice. I mean, great voice. And awesome. Um, yep. And she, I believe she is one of the, I think she's a lector at the, at, at that church, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. I think she's a friend of the Eschenbergs. I'm pretty sure. Nice lady. Mm -hmm. You, you so, got to talk to her, Tim? Yeah, she came up. We were in line to have something to eat. And I just walked up to her and said, hey. I go, you knocked it out of the park singing. Then she, you know, you know, graciously, thank you and whatever. And her and her and Jamie, you know, went back and forth. And, you know, they liked her dresses and whatever. And she was nice. We talked to her a few minutes. And then that was it. But she was super, super nice. Mm -hmm. Tim, awesome. did, you, did you cry during Ave Maria, Tim? No. Okay. Just check him. Brett, I'm you? surprised you didn't cry as much as I thought. <laughs> well, you know, here's the thing. I was told not. <laughs> see, here, here's the thing. Um, if I cry a lot, then I get I, I get teased or I get uh, ripped on by my kids. Okay. Then hey, I don't hey, cry. Us. Yeah, yeah, and then, I mean, you don't care about and, us. And then, and then I, get to, I get to the reception hall and everybody's going oh, i can't believe you're not crying i can't I'm like okay one minute you're mad if i do cry and now you're too, now you're mad at me because i didn't cry i say hey there's plenty of time there's the daddy daughter dance yeah. and there's, there's the, still the time speech. still there's early still time, there's still time honey there's still time, there's still yeah. time. Yeah. yeah a little emotional when you're you know and you see you walking your daughter down the aisle and then you get you know and you're giving it away that was i thought that was pretty emotional for myself you know i was like and that's awesome, you know. I whenever. couldn't see you walking. I was so far yeah. back, so I didn't see it. But and I so you you did, for so many years. I thought yeah. you did the perfect job. You you cried just enough during the uh, speech. <laughs> I mean, you want to see you want to see the father of bride get a little bit of emotion. Yeah, he did good. Yeah. And then yeah. the, one of the best parts was he brought out the voice of the Mariners. Right, right at Oh the... well, that was the secret <laughs> surprise. We didn't know that yeah. was coming. the the secret sauce. Yeah. Well, the out. funny part was one one of the there's two of the gro uh, groomsmen and, and the middle groomman said came up to me and goes yeah I started I started crying during your speech I mean I I, I don't even know you but I, you know I know Taylor so much he goes I started crying yeah. he goes and I said and all of a sudden you did the the sportscaster's voice like or the sports announcer's voice like that and he goes and he looks at he said I looked at the two guys this because hey you know that guy should you know, should be a sports announcer and they both look at each other and they lean into him and go he is. <laughs> he's like oh oh okay so i thought that was kind of funny but uh yeah it was a good time boys that was, it was. definitely definitely a memorable uh uh a weekend that's for sure real good yep so um i'm trying to think there was one other thing i was going to tell you guys about um you know we got michigan we got jim harbaugh back and they play Rutgers. That, I mean, that's well. That's the big game game. this week is not yeah, in Ann Arbor. No, the big game is not in Ann Arbor. It's in, it's uh, I think it's uh, Marine City playing Marysville on Friday, right, guys? Where's yeah. that game at? at Marysville or Marine City? <laughs> it's at Marysville. I think Rob means the Irish against the Buckeyes. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Are you talking about Notre Dame again, Rob? Hey. Where is it? Go that's Irish. Big, Go fucking that's Irish. That's a big really. game. Is it at North or is it at? Um, it's in South Bend. Ooh. Go Irish. <laughs> Go and, Irish. And, here, and oh, here's God. the reason why I normally wouldn't give them a chance, but I'm not impressed from what I've seen with Ohio State. Mm -mm. No. no. Uh, there, there's really not a team this year that really is standing out there. I'm like going, God damn. Other than maybe Washington. But Washington hasn't really played anybody that you know significant. But Texas I mean, good. But then they struggled a little bit too, uh, didn't they? Well, Texas didn't Texas get beat the other day? No, I thought I they, thought they uh, but they struggled, but they won. I think. Okay. Yeah. I think. Well, they won. well, here's the thing. Uh, anybody who vote, who's going to root for Ohio State to win this game, um, you all can go pound sand. Yeah, and tell him, Brad. And as as much as as much as I hate Notre Dame or dislike Notre Dame, he um, does. Um, I loathe that piece of shit team down south of us. <laughs> the, those dirty water drinkers of Ohio. 
Those dirty water drinkers. Yep. Are you saying See, Greg Fry's a dirty water drinker? <laughs> He's the king. <laughs> See, Michigan fans aren't afraid to say it. You know, Ohio State, they're afraid to say Michigan. I'm they messing. say the team up north. We mm. live in their, you know, the Michigan no, they football rather, team they lives rather in their head rent you. free 365 days a year. It's a yeah, beautiful yeah. fucking thing. Yeah. I hope the Irish just fucking whack these guys. That would be. Well, I don't think whack, but they're, you know, hey, a couple of good things go their way. A couple, of, maybe an injury, some turnovers. They might be able to. Uh, get they get a few. Well, yeah. they're playing on grass. They're so. playing on grass. Yep. So that's I a think huge the Domers advantage. have a good chance of winning this. Game. As long as the weather stays nice, I think uh, I think they have a pretty you know, they got a puncher's chance for sure. Touchdown, Jesus! Hey, God hates Ohio State. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Yeah. Oh gosh. Of course he does. Uh, yes, he does. Yeah. Yep. That's why. Well, that's why he he put in the minds of the people who built that stadium and made it look like a toilet. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, oh, we're gonna stay in college football. We're gonna go to the pros. The Lions going to get better this week? Oh, What's... my God. The injury bug has destroyed Ooh. or decimated this team. Uh, uh, C.J. G- uh, Gardner is gone for the year. Uh, James Houston's gone for the year. Yeah. Um, Taylor Dick- Decker didn't practice again this week. Taylor Emmanuel, uh, Ama- Did I say Dicker? No. <laughs> you were going to. Emmanuel Mosley's, Mosley's out still. Um you know, Montgomery's out too, Montgomery. isn't he? Well, but there's some good news about him. He uh, he was at practice walking around and 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 actually, you know, not hobbling around around crutches or anything like that. So, so he, he might be out a week. Okay. What's but the, here, 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 didn't we lose a big lineman? Got a broken ankle or something? Who uh, was? It? Well, he got Chris rolled up. Uh oh, Vitae. Yeah. Vitae. Well. You know, put a speck yeah. in that that Buddha. I mean, he, he he to me he's useless. He's a, he's a he's a walking pylon. Um, but but you know <laughs> the nice thing is they do have Graham Glasgow that can play there. Yeah. They did re-sign Dan Skipper um, back to the practice squad, who can probably play where where Matt Nelson was. Matt Nelson is just awful, you know. But you know the thing is, is if if Taylor Decker can play and uh, Panay Sewell can go back to the right side, yeah, the biggest you know. The, the offense is going to be fine. My biggest concern, we spent a number a number 12 draft pick on a running back that's only touched the ball 20-something 20, 20 times yeah. in two games. That is like that is egregious. Playing. That is horrible drafting if you're not going to use this guy the right way. Yeah. Jack, Jack Campbell played all every preseason game. He's not playing. Why? You, you're telling me that he's not better than uh, uh, Malcolm Rodriguez? It, it, the thing is, is Wait. let's be smart. You could have, you could have had in in the last two years, you could have had Jordan Davis and, and Jalen Carter manning the middle of your defense for the next ten years, twelve years. Yeah. Instead, you take Jamison Williams, who's sitting out ga- on a gambling uh, suspension, and you got and you got Jameer Gibbs, who's they're you know they're they're holding like he's putting white gloves on and like he's you know tiptoeing around. Give the man the ball, yeah, and they're and they have to do it this week because if they don't, what are you going to do? Give it to Craig Reynolds or yeah. Bam Knight, Bam Knight, this guy that they just signed off the practice squad that the, that played during the preseason. Go back to this last game though. That I'm the only one that feels that in that last drive just before. that was horrible. No sense of urgency. Well, well, not only that, they didn't go for the kill one time. They kept yeah. going over the middle of the field for eight yard passes. They never went to Laporta again, who was tearing up the perimeter of that field where they could have done something. What the hell is going on? Well, here's the big the biggest problem is I'm sick of the I'm sick of the gambling on fourth downs. Okay. First of all, take the points. Instead of eight, instead of you know, Montgomery fumbles and they go in and score. Instead, it's 17 14. You still have the lead. Okay. Yeah. They only needed that that field goal from the first half. Mm, yeah. you, know, you take that you take that and everything falls the other way everything falls yeah. the way it was they they win the game in regulation now the thing is is you have 50 seconds you're on the 50 yard line you have three timeouts yeah. and you don't and you don't call your first timeout until 26 seconds yeah. what the fuck you know get down the field 
and even even if you throw it across the middle, hit the ground, go go up there, spirit, you know, you know, if you have to spike it, great, or call a timeout. <sighs> hey, take a couple shots, and then okay, if you don't get it, then kick the kick the field goal, go into yep. overtime. But shit, you know, you take a shot. You are the only chance of you have winning in overtime is winning the coin toss yep. most of the time. Well, okay, you know what they said? They were afraid to get. They didn't want them to get the ball back. Well, they got the ball back in overtime and they lost. Well, it's going to save. I mean, it, 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 why, so what? If you give them the ball back and you've scored a touchdown, now you're up how much? Right. Not done. And you're then, right, Robbie. You, you give them a little bit of time to go all the way down the field to yeah. score a touchdown. Yeah. Not to mention going for a fourth down on your own 45 when you could punt it, pin them down there, and make them drive 80 yards. Then some of this shit doesn't. The shit doesn't come into fruition. I mean, what? you 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 got to trust your defense a little bit more than that. You know, and Aaron Glenn's Aaron Glenn's got a little bit of uh you know blame to this too because you know where you know you got Jerry Jacobs sitting there and he is just getting just Smoked. burnt. Yeah, smoke. <laughs> I'm talking. Crispy. I'm talking like a burnt piece of toast. I mean, he's the Tim Brown of St. Clair High School. Uh, Tim Brown. Um, burnt toast. Burnt toast. You know, and I'm and I'm sitting here going, and then then they get the ball back, and we're going, hey, we're going to win this game. And Kevin and Connor and Evan are all, and I are sitting at his house, and they're just walking up to the line like this is. I mean, you yeah. they they played to tie. You didn't play to win the game. No question, you they didn't. Tie. They Why didn't not? take a shot at the end zone. Rob's right. I mean, yeah. but we, no. we've said it. We said it before the season start. I I mentioned it. When the offense is playing well, the defense sucks. When the defense right. is playing well, the offense sucks. That defense was fucking atrocious, man. Yeah. How many no wide open receivers you. were there? Hey, how how many this? wide Ready? open receivers? <clears throat> tight, end, tight ends. 14 targets, 14 catches for 162 yards. Yeah, that tells brutal. you something right there. Not No pressure from, from anybody at all. Um, yes, um, Aiden Hutchinson was getting held like, oh, like oh every play. Hey, 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 how about play the, how was about, a... hey, how about the pass interference against Josh Reynolds on the first touchdown that David Montgomery had? They he scored a touchdown, but he didn't. That was the worst fucking call I've ever seen. I don't. The, I think the worst call was the intentional grounding on Chino Smith. Yeah, that was what funny. the fuck was that? He didn't. My dad well, he didn't. and Helen. I was watching over my dad's, and they're like. Is that really a penalty? I said, uh, no. No. It's intentional grounding when they're under pressure and they're trying to get rid of the ball. It was a miscommunication with the receiver. He just that was a fucking worst call I've ever seen. I so think. boys, here the one thing that I the one thing that the defense did 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 do, excuse me. Did did sorry. Yep. What they did do is um they did stop the run. Uh, they kept Kenny Walker uh, under under control. Now this week, um, they got to they got to do the same thing against Bijan Robinson because he's going to carry he's going to carry he's going to carry the ball at least thirty times. Okay, yeah. because because at this point, if you allow Desmond Ritter to come up here, no, with your crowd uh, going absolutely nuts like they did last week, and you can and and uh, and you uh, play defense like you did and. And you let Kyle Pitts uh, go off, go off on you, and you give Desmond Ritter make him look like a pro. Guess what? Yeah. Same now, thing. now we have to start thinking. Uh, you know, here, you know, they set us up. You know, for, you know, to get us all pumped up. But you know, the, the other, I guess, the other positive thing I wanted to mention too is the fact that they set us up. That's funny. yeah. They yeah. Well, they they did. So it's like it's like they're they're telling a joke and then they walk away just before the punchline. Right. But but the thing is, is how many of you guys expected to be going into this week two and zero? Oh? No, we one and one was probably you know, the expectation. You know, hey, Timmy, in real I wanna, I at, the they, be, at, at the I know I'm just saying there. at the at the beginning of the year when you know that you're playing the first game of the year and you're playing against the oh, Super Bowl Kansas champs. City, I, I didn't think they'd beat Kansas City. I would yeah. say, but I so they'd win. so so we. We thought they would be one and one. Unfortunately, it was the one and one the wrong way. Yeah. Now, and and then, of I... course, here's the question to you guys: Who would you would rather beat, the Chiefs or the Seahawks? Chiefs. Chiefs. No question. Seahawks. Why? 
because they're in the NFC. And now they got a game up on you on the wild card. Yeah, they got a game up on us. And we'll never see them again. Well, well I don't know. I don't know if, if they're going to – I to tell you the truth, no. I don't think we're going to be in the hunt for the wild card. Well, no, but, I mean, as, if the season ended right now, the Rams and the Seahawks would have the two wild card positions and we'd be out again. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't, <laughs> that, I don't think after don't, two games. Season yeah, ends. but I don't. I don't think Seattle has what it takes to be there at the end. So if COVID <laughs> strikes again <laughs> on Saturday and they shut everything and down, shut everything down. We're out. Yeah. So we're, we're, out. Well, we're out. Well, yeah, everybody will have COVID, but it'll be called the flu. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That was uh, that was a shit show. It, yeah. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I understand going for it on fourth down, but then that on, on last occasion. drive not to go for the win. So yeah. if you're going to go for the win, you're going for the win. If you're going to play balls out, you're playing balls out. That means on the last drive, you you go for the fucking end zone at least a couple mm-hmm. times. You're perfect. For- Goff, Goff was hot. Goff, that was well, listen, Goff. Mike, hey. they, had, they were at like the – 38 yard line. They just scored. They just got a first down. They had three timeouts left and they didn't go for it then either. It's like, at least, you know, you would thought when they got to that point, like, well, they're going to take a shot at the end zone at least once because they're already, they're in field goal position at that time. Yeah. I mean, Goff played well. He threw one bad pass, happened to be a pick six, but that that was a receiver issue. Yeah, I mean, no, he threw the ball behind him. He threw him behind he, him. But, the, oh, but again, maybe it was maybe he was, ran, because, ran the wrong because pattern. there was pressure. Yeah, yeah. It's funny what happens when you put pressure on somebody. Yeah, I think Gibbs didn't read it, and he and Jared thought he was going to do a spot, and he kept going, you know, and he threw well, it to that spot. Yeah. Well, Gibbs also dropped a slant pass. If he caught it, he'd still be running right now. Oh God, yeah, um, he was. Gone. Yeah. He, and I don't know if you guys watched the replay. If you saw his hands, he looked like a Ricky Bobby goes, I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the car was, the car was running great. And I was, yeah, it was I tell Bobby. you what, though, he the guy's exciting. He's yeah. got some fucking speed for yes, days. Well, he better he be fucking ball. exciting this weekend. That's all I, I can so. say. Well, Dan I mean, Campbell it's not his fault they, his don't, they don't give him the fucking ball. Well, they, well guess what? They have no they, choice they, now. They don't have a out. choice. Yep. They don't have a choice, and they better have all these different packages for getting the damn ball. To, uh, this, for Sunday, is his bar mitzvah. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Are you <laughs> Jewish? <laughs> you mean his coming out party? Yeah. yeah That's why I didn't say Jewish. that. Any word on St. Brown? His toe? He, or... uh, he, he, he'll play. Okay. Yep. Uh, he, called it, he, call, he, he, he called a tow truck. He's good. Gibbs uh, brisk. We'll consider it as brisk this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, at least they're exciting to watch. I mean, mm-hmm. they were in still, it. They were yeah, in it. In the damn game. Why? What? You know, like Listen, you said. Fred well, was a little was down on Dan no. Campbell on, on, on Sunday night, Monday. I, and I'm still. Dan Campbell has a lot to learn of being a head coach, but I still feel like these players do not play the way they do and want to come here and play this hard if Dan Campbell's not in this organization. I, I, agree. I agree. And but all again, that's all that's but fucking again, great, but you have a you're chance not still to learning win on the, job the after fucking three game. years, though. That's the thing that pisses me off. It's fine and dandy to go for it on fourth down. But you don't have to do it every game where this, you know, that every organization that comes in and pl- comes and plays you knows that you're going to go for it. I mean, and, I mean, in in, stu- in stupid times, Take stupid care. times. What what he did, what he did That's by not the taking the point. The stupidest of times. Yeah, he two <laughs> times he went for it. Um, to me, he he pulled another Minnesota Vikings. And and please tell me, at the end of the year, when we have to play Minnesota at the end of the year for the last game of the year. That and and we end up winning, but somebody else wins, and that game is going to cost us the opportunity to play. Unless we win the division, of course. Yeah. If we win the division, we get a home game. Um, Minnesota is still the only divisional team that's beat us in the last two years. Yeah. Yeah, and they and they shouldn't have. That's even the funny part. But it is what it is. You know, you can't. You you know what? I guess it's next man up, and okay, and we got to worry about the Falcons. But uh, let me just tell you. Thank you, Falcons, for wearing 
the old red helmets with the black falcon on it. Phenomenal look. Phenomenal. How, about didn't, how about Anzalone stopping what's his name on that it, last play? That's the only thing he did all day. I know, but it was worth it, right? Oh, I mean, oh, he, yeah. he closed that gap strong. He, and that he come out of nowhere, man. He came oh, out yeah. of nowhere. Yeah, because I, I tell you now, Geno Smith was going to get absolutely throttled by Aiden Hutchinson. You, you hear, <laughs> and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, boom, blew him up. Yeah. But, but you know, the thing is, is you got to get more fresh on the quarterback, period. I don't care anymore. The only thing, the, the one thing I can say, Dan Campbell says, they, it's start, they got to start true. going to the league and pitching <laughs> about the holds on Hutchinson, though. That's yeah. crazy. They have to start going. To the you league have to. Start you have to earn the league's respect. You're just gonna have to. That's the reason why they never get any of these calls, and they're at home. That's what's even worse. It, that's yeah. where the egregious part of these call, our calls are being made. What in that's the hell? Is, that is horrible. <laughs> I mean, it, it's deplorable. I mean, I think he fucking opened up the dictionary before I, today's yeah. episode yeah. and just picked yeah. out some doozies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. What else yeah. you got, Fred? What other big words you got, big boy? Um, no, I don't have any more. So who's but, uh, who do the Spartans play this weekend? Maryland. Oh shit! They're gonna get toasted. Oh, hell. Maryland. Yeah. yeah, Maryland's gonna spank them. Tungalavoa is gonna come or away. Are they on TV? In Michigan home or away? Yeah, they're on the Playboy channel. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan's home. I'm going to it. So are you? Yeah. yeah. Michigan yeah. State's games are gonna start being uh, broadcast on Peacock. Hopefully Michigan's games not on Peacock. <laughs> channel 20. Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be start broadcasting on the Ocho pretty soon. Yeah, the Ocho. Right. yeah. maybe a maybe maybe they'll play on uh, Nickelodeon. Well, who's the interim coach, Fred? Who's who's the Harlan guy? Barnett? Okay, Harlan yeah. Barnett. Did I don't know if you guys caught his uh, his uh, press conference a after after the? Oh my god! <laughs> really. Horrible. Excuse, excuse me, Harlan. If it, we're going to offer you this job during the off season, we want you to take a uh, a, a presentation class and learn how to speak well. Hooked, hooked on fire. <laughs> that TikTok video that Tim sent with what's his name Chase Brown. Holy well, shit! I, I didn't see it. Oh but, my god! But the, but the Barack it's Obama terrible. one was hilarious. Oh, the Lucky Barack that Obama guy was funny. funny playing football, but. He is dumber than a boot. Holy <laughs> shit, man. You listen to him like, what the fuck did he just say? Did I don't, you I don't see even... reporter's face? Did you see yeah, her face? Yeah. <laughs> she was like... He, she, he was like uh, Charles Barkley minus about 50 IQ points, if you can believe that shit. You yeah. couldn't understand a fucking word coming out of his mouth. It yeah, was like, crazy. He was talking like he, he literally had a mouthful of marbles. Yeah. It was bad. Terrible. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. But would you like him playing defensive end for your team right now? Well, sure. Well, yeah, man. That, that goes without saying, but I pick I pick things up, I put things down. I don't, I don't, I don't give a that... shit if you can talk. Can he play? Yeah, that's I all care. I fucking care about. Hey, that's the what did didn't I say that or type at, you know, one point in your life if you keep your mouth shut, people won't figure out how really fucking stupid you are. Well, he yeah. let it out of the bag. Yep. It's better to leave oh. your mouth closed and seem ignorant than open it and remove all doubt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he exactly. He's, wow. he's kind of like he's kind of like Lloyd from Dumb Dumber Dumber. You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, shut up! Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Uh, so, hey, so, boys, said, don't, don't do that again. Yeah. Hey, boys. Uh, I'm glad that we could get back together at number seven. We were 30 away from the century mark. So that's, that's uh, coming right down around the bend. Uh, again, as a reminder, uh, Sunday, September 24th, this Sunday, 12 o'clock, War Water Brewery. Um, come and help support the Osterland family out and to help them uh, set some off, off cost for the, some of their medical bills yeah, there. Sure. Uh, it, it, 
if you can be there for 15 minutes, great. If you can be there a half an hour, awesome. If you can be there and, and support, you know, from start to finish, hey, you know, the one thing is, is it's a great family. They're well liked in the community. And, and if you can help them out, uh, we at the Idiot Nation would be very appreciative. So well, we have just, nation, <clears throat> our three people are a nation. They are a nation. That's right, baby. Just remember, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on uh, Instagram, and we're on YouTube. Um, if you like us, you know, give us a thumbs up. You want to be a part of the script. Uh, you want to subscribe to our YouTube show. You just uh, click on it. Uh, we are almost to the century mark with subscribers. So that's that's a, another one that we're close on. Um, you know, we'll get the show downloaded as quickly as we can. And and again, uh, guys, say thanks again for making my daughter's uh, weekend special. And it was great. It. And it was great seeing all of you guys. And uh, I love you guys. Love you too, Go man. Mariners. Go Mariners. Go Mariners. Yep. Go Wolverines. Go Irish. Go, Go Irish. Lions. Go Blue Go Lions. Go Mariners. Go Lions. And.